This is the entrance to the old Victoria Raddit in the Salisbury Hill gold mining area, close to Beaconsfield, Tasmania. That's the entrance to the Adit. This is what the surface looks like. There are plenty of old mine shafts in this area. Um, mo most of them are not fenced off. In fact, none of them are fenced off. Um, it's quite dangerous. More dangerous than exploring the underground adits, in my opinion. So be aware if you ever visit this area, be aware of the um, open shafts, open mine shafts. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Here's um, some, old, some old walls in the uh, close to the power line area at Salisbury. Wall going along there, made of stone. There's old bricks here. And metal detectorists have um, dug up quite a few relics. Stuff like that looks like it's um, possibly cams from an old stamp mill. There's another one of them just there. And, and other old relics. That's, it's all heavy duty stuff. There's another wall there. Um, maybe the stamp mill was mounted on these two walls. There's more relics here more relics there. We've dug up some of these relics. Some old bottle. Very thick. Very thick glass. And old bricks. Interesting area really. Yeah, we think um, this is the power line south at it. This is the waste rock pile going along there. Um, you wouldn't really know it was a waste rock pile anymore. There's a man fern on the end of it. And there are some really <coughs> massive trees growing out of this waste rock pile. So it's in an old creek and you really probably you you would not know it was here. Um, the waste rock pile points into a hill, hillside that's covered in um, covered in fern, and uh, we've both walked around in there. We can't find any added above this waste rock pile. There's a bit of a creek going down there. I'm on a um, fully fully timbered hillside in um, northern Tasmania in the Tamer Valley, and I'm looking to um, detect around some old adits. Um, what I've got with me today is that little handheld GPS, and I've got the um, the coordinates of these adits that I want to detect. So um, that's actually really handy because this. This area is, is very rugged. I've just come up a um, four-wheel drive track, but um, or it's probably a logging track, but it's very, very steep in places. Um, you can see a bit of it over there through the trees. Um, it's low-range four-wheel drive stuff, and low-range gets you up and down those steep tracks, but it's very slow, so um, you've really got to have a lot of patience, but um, I've just check the GPS and I've come a little bit too far south so I'm going to have to turn around and turning around here is actually difficult um, because there's hardly anywhere to turn around but I've noticed just down the track a bit there somewhere I can turn around so I'll do that and head back probably maybe 400, 500, half a kilometre maybe and take some GPS points from there. Okay, back here on the hill again. Not a bad day.
just pan around with the molar keep of it. Um, so, heading in. Okay, I'm here at the portal, portal of this little adit, and I'm about to head in. I might leave the camera running for a while. Never been in here, but I'll check it out. anyone's been in here. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane there too. Hmm. Keep going or what? Yep, keep going. That's an old piece of steel there. Here's an old stick. Carry that stick. Pretty rotten though. Sheesh, there's so many of these bugs in here, it's insane. Oh, they're nesting or something. Oh, get them in the eyes. Moisture on them. That's insane. Now, what do we got here? That's insane. That looks like a wind. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Are you coming in, are you? You forgot your torch, did you? Yeah. There's about a million insects down there. <laughs> Little ones. But there are Windsors in here straight away. This is bloody dangerous. Whoa. Whoa, that is a deep wind. That is deep. Good luck. Am I going to go past here or not? Like there's another wind there, and that could be the end of it. The end of the line. This is bloody freaky in here. That stuff's not strong. So I had to grab hold of it. Wonder how deep that is. We'll find out. Good. Break a few bones going down there. I don't know if I want to go across this. I'm interested in my exploration. I'm going to have to. Okay, that looks 
Oh, my God. Oh, that was what I did. It's basically not really associated with that stuff. That's freaky. So, heading back out. <laughs> That's my freakiness for the day. on the ceiling or roof back they call it there's the portal just down there now past all these insects wow that's not it's not what I thought yeah they're like nesting or something and in big big bunches of them like oh shit I'm like that's <laughs> Uh, it's actually pretty dangerous in here. Yeah, it's not what I thought. The, there's a wind just there, a really deep wind. Mm -hmm. And then not, not far past that, it, it finishes. 